Hello everyone, in this video I'm gonna explain how to use weights in Login and uh, before saying anything, um, I just wanna clarify that practicing Pyda Login is something that you can practice in your own way with your own style. Of course, keeping the practice as it is, but uh, there is no um, like um, mandatory Thing. there is no like a wall uh, that is um, with more weights you have more effect and with less weights you have less effects for example if you stretch with five kilos on your ankle uh, you will have less effect than um, someone stretching with 10 kilos on his ankle uh, with that said um, I continue my video and I'm gonna just tell you a bit of a logic uh, while using these weights. So first of all, <clears throat> while using uh, weights, you are changing uh, the balance of the body and for sure uh, you are changing the areas that are stretched more or less in your body. And uh, <clears throat> One thing is for sure, and it's for everyone. While you use the belt uh, on the knee, it's not on the knee, it's uh, above the knee, but you must strengthen it uh, very hard. And this will always reflect uh, as a good results. So this will always improve the results. But um, let's say... Um, you use like a lot of weights on your ankle probably um, you will feel that your pelvis on a stretched leg is kind of changing his position and its position and this might re might reflect in stretching some areas of your body more than other areas of your body and stretching without any weights uh, it might feel sometimes like balancing and um, it's up to you honestly how to stretch um, you can change the weights for example for a period of time stretch with uh, more weights for a period of time stretch without weights and stuff like that i'm personally not using weights on my top leg you see the the weights that people put on the on the top leg um, they basically put weights uh, like this. They lay down and they put weights right somewhere here. And uh, this pushes the foot uh, towards the body and stretches a bit more the calves. So I, I personally do not use this one. I try to use it. I feel no difference, I feel like uh, I have better results and my body feels better when using it. But, uh, so some of my subscribers texted me that they have a difference in their effect in a positive way when they use the weight on the foot. So, about them a bit more important and complicated weights, these are on the ankles and here is the improvement uh, that I've made and I want to share with you uh, I just want to warn you that we'll see something pretty ugly I'm gonna place my phone right here and now you're gonna see my weight which is basically this thing this ugly thing you can't see it but right here oh you can't you really can't see it. this is actually an old shoe old uh, sports shoe you can see it right i put my leg here but i've attached on it crazy amount of weights i mean all of this uh is somewhere like 15 kilos and the different thing is that by attaching it on a shoe your weight 
it actually stretches not only the hip joint and the knees but also stretches the ankles which adds a bit more unblocking power on this part right here the ankles and as you can see this is a part where you have also a lot of key acupuncture uh, acupuncture points um you can see them here probably uh and here all right you can see how many points there uh, there are on uh, on the ankles that are related with sex life for example especially on the kidney channel um, and of course all the channels that go through the legs like liver spleen and stomach and um, liver uh, and gallbladder of course yes so um, continuing um, by using this weight I started to feel better results in the um, in the two areas like the first thing is the musculoskeletal system of my body uh, is way better when practicing like this when my weights are on this shoe and when it extends even the ankle and I'm actually uh, a person who has two injuries on both uh, right and left ankles. So I um, luxate two times my left ankle and two times my right ankle, right ankle um, because I wanted to be interested, interesting in a few parties and make some flips and stuff <laughs> uh, while having a few drinks. But yeah, I was... Uh, 18 years old so this is totally normal here in Bulgaria uh, get drunk and, and make flips <laughs> uh, so um, this uh, affects very good my musculoskeletal system and uh, really helped me and the second part that improves is for sure uh, I, I feel the effect of stretching a bit more long lasting um, and I say that because uh, usually I take a very big vacation every summer around the whole month I'm out of uh, Sofia out of my usual place of living and um, <clears throat> it is um, of course away from my legion bench and I squat every day I, I pie the and stuff but I feel like I'm losing this effect on my musculoskeletal system and, and a little bit on uh, sexual level every summer. Um, but but uh, with exception of this summer. And I, I think that uh, this is because of this huge change that I've made um, while stretching um, with those weights. So my back didn't start to hurt, my knees didn't start to hurt this summer and usually they start to do it like around um, after the first two weeks of uh, putting stop on my uh, stretching on the bench and this pain start to appear but not this summer which is very good. Um, so I will uh, of course when I start to work on this new book uh, or booklet, I don't know how long it will be, I will uh, definitely uh, give a bit more insight um, in details. But to be honest, uh, you don't need one. You, need, you, don't, you don't need uh, many details because you just have uh, your old shoe from something that you don't use anymore and try to attach weights to the shoe and it works uh, <clears throat> it works pretty good um, okay about how many kilos uh, you should use of course I'm gonna talk about kilos because uh, 
I'm from Bulgaria, Europe and uh, I do not know nothing about pounds but uh, you can use the calculator online pound, uh, kilos to pounds so 2 kilos, 3 kilos it's uh, close to nothing probably it will add uh, effect um, a little bit I mean by effect I mean change in in your um, benefits but let's say that five kilos is very good start point and um, especially if you are young if you are old guy uh, in your 60s 70s um, you can start with one two then three then four then five kilos but if you are young guy like me for example from 15 years old until 40 42 43 5 you can uh, stretch a bit without weights and then add directly five kilos on on the ankle or on the shoe and um, by using these weights it affects the way it stretches the body and for some people might have might add very good effect for the sex life and um, for sure it affects every time it affects better the the musculoskeletal system if you use more um, more weights but if we talk about um, intimate uh, abilities I mean how much you can last and how hard will be the erection improvements um, I I think that is very personal um, if you use it, it might be even so specific that you might have the best results with the specific amount of kilos um, and uh, in my opinion in my body um, it affected the most my duration when I used six kilos on my ankles and um, now I stretch with more uh, but uh, I have a few additional practices um, and to be honest I, I stretch like I, I stretch with so many kilos because of my musculoskeletal system a bit more um, because I'm very injured person and <laughs> when I stretch on the bench I I really don't feel any pain in my body um, but when I stop and and when I use no weights the effect is not that good on my musculoskeletal system and I'm as you know I'm a professional dancer and I need to be in shape all the time so at the end of the video, this could be my advice. Um, experiment with different um, amount of weights and see how you feel. It is very specific. And um, the more weights you attach, uh, the different weights uh, you use might uh, end up in different uh, kind of benefit. By using more weights, you can benefit your lower back pain more, for example, your for your shoulder pain more. And by using less weights, you can affect more uh, like your inner, inner health. And of course, it might be pure mathematics that the more weights, the more overall benefits and the less weights, less overall benefits. Um, and uh, also one advice. Even when you stretch a lot with a lot of weights, from time to time, just in a sake of practice, uh, stretch with without weights. Okay, so from time to time, just make your practice without weights because uh, it you will just feel different and will just affect uh, different parts of the meridians and will unblock some parts more and will reach different parts of your body um, I think it, this is the best um, 
the best way to practice. I mean, find your favorite um, amount of weights that you use, but always uh, from time to time change it uh, to to have more complete effect uh, on your body. And um, of course, you might add um, Yvagen from time to time. You might add a different Lagin postures, for example, twice a month, once a week uh, in your practice. I'm personally squatting every single day because squatting is something very simple and now I'm working from home and I, I spent uh, like uh, 30 minutes of my work day um, in squatting position and it's very beneficial. So after I finish with my work day, I, I, even, uh, I was even stretching during the day. So I, I even feel a bit better. So I hope this video um, be of some benefit for you and we'll see you guys in the next video bye bye